edges. Come down. We'll grab. Whoa. Okay. Didn't know it was going to do that. Let's not do that. Let's take the faces. I'm not sure I like the way that cut. Every now and then, program will fucking surprise you, and you're like, no, no, Maya. Sit down. You drunk, go home. Alright, so I've noticed this. This is just one little thing that's going to bug the fuck out of me until we change this. We're going to go into surfaces, no, mesh display, and we're going to do soft edge, okay? So I'm not continuously looking at it. what the fuck? Okay. There. Close as it's going to get. At least I'm not looking at it thinking I'm going to freak out. Okay. So, these screws. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate one. And just go ahead and set up the others before I start snapping them down. And we're going to snap on the outside and then snap on the inside. Because we don't want to run into the same stuff we had last time. And then we'll bevel this edge before we do it. So we're just setting up. We're prepping. We're prep H right now. Okay. That one's good. I'll bring this one down. Bring it in. This screw's also a little big. I'll bring that one in a little bit more. I'm going to bring this one down. In. So yeah, when I when I said earlier about uh, kit bashing, is a lot of these uh, really, you know, and I have my own set too. I just don't want to, you know, show you guys all my fucking secrets. Um, but a lot of a lot of us will use um, things we use. So I may save these screws. Um, I mean, I'm not. I've got a, a whole separate set of bolts and shit uh, that people use on, especially if they're doing hard service stuff. So um, environment or mechanical stuff really non-organic things. Um, so um, it's things like that where that you save so you don't have to recreate them every time. Because bolts and shit like that, there's only so many bolts. I mean, go to the hardware store. A bolt's a bolt. Just different size. Phillips head, um, that octagon thing, socket, I'm not sure. I'm not a, I'm not a man like some of you guys are. I mean, sexually and anatomically, I I am a man. But when it comes to a hardware store, I'm just like, yo, give me that silver nut thingy. Okay. Got these screws in. So what we're going to do, I'm going to pull them out. Right up in here. And I know this is a lot to look at, and I probably should start eliminating some of the stuff that we're looking at. But... This is mine. You work how you want, bitch. All right. Another nice thing about uh, locking in uh, my rotations too is I'm getting the same rotation. So as you saw them go around, these will match up with these, will match up with these, will match up with these. I mean, if you don't want that, that sucks. And you can change that. But I like to have that nice symmetry. And I can always rotate it. I mean, not not fucking square, dude. Let's see, like, ooh, look at that. Bam, 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 bam. Look, they all match up. Fuck. Damn, Steve, you so good. Yeah, girl, I know. Also, something you will never hear as an artist in this field. Just get used to that. You're going to have to woo them with, like, sensitive stuff. Like, I like looking at oceans. I don't. I hate fucking sand. But you're going to tell them everything you have to. All right, enough about me. Oh, goodness. This is irritating. Oh, oh shit. No. We may have done it. Oh, damn it. Okay. We have royally fucked that one up. Okay. Let's just see. Okay, so there's just one. We're going to... Duplicate it, bring it up. There we go. Not sure why that was so difficult on that one. Okay. 
So now we're going to add some uh, slight bevels to these edges here. Oh, man, this bottom piece looks so cool. I am glad I took this fucking direction and you guys had no say so in it because this is my piece and it looks way cool. Okay. Let's go ahead and bevel these because we're about to deform this. Oh, shit. Something has happened. Oh, oh because it's so face. Mobby. All right. Let's add a good bit of segments here and try not to touch them because this machine's going to go fucking haywire. And let's just add just kind of a nice edge bevel. There we go. I like that one. Let's try to reduce the fraction here. I just want a soft corner is all we're really going for. And realistically, if we were going to do a low poly of this, and we may, we may go through the whole process. Um, it wouldn't matter what you're adding in your high poly. You're just your goal in high poly is literally just to make it look good. Uh, because you're going to go into your um, your image occlusion, and then you're going to mesh these out as a low poly. Then you're going to bake your ambient onto the low poly, and then you'll get this cool look where shadows should be and shit. But homeboy, we ain't got time. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Here we go. And what I'm going through here, um, just as a comment made by someone uh, that had seen one of the streams. And also, incidentally, now, YouTube channel. Yeah, so disgruntled artist YouTube. We may mm, link. Probably not. Just look it up. But um, this is not a beginner uh, kind of walkthrough. I'm assuming you guys know a lot of these steps. And, you know, we're just kind of showing a different technique to it and more or less showing how I do it and maybe get some ideas from it. But this is in no way a um, hold your hand, push, you know, what I don't even know the buttons of fucking push anymore. W to select things and then, or that's Q, I'm sorry. W to move. We're, we're not doing that anymore. We've taken the reins off. Now YOLO. Woo, fingers crossed we're there, but uh, we made it. And you know what? Now I'm looking at it. really don't like the way that looks. All right, so see what I told you before? What we can do is we can just take these and rotate them. 11.5 each. So there you go. You can see it's a little off kilter there, a little off kilter down there. All right. There we go, got those. All right, so we have this cool kind of robot arm thing going on now. Um, so we've got this, we got that. Let's see. I think we'll go with that for right now. Something simple. When you texture it out, you'll give it a whole new life. Um, so, and another big mistake that a lot of beginning um, designers try to do is they're going to try to like, I mean, on organic shapes, this is true, but on hard surface stuff, you're going to try like, oh, I want to make a crack here. Not here. You're going to do that in texturing, or your texture guy is going to do that. But you're, you're just trying to add geometry, main geometry, big geometry. If it's a cut or a scratch or how it reflects or a dent, we can handle that with a normal. We can handle that with tricking people. We are here to do this specifically. Okay, so now, what I think I'm gonna, what? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna keep that separate. What we're gonna do is we're gonna separate these pieces. I think I'm gonna add another little ball on the bottom. 
So let's take one of these, bring it down. Just loop it kind of small. We're going to add a little hand here. Yeah, I think this arm looks way cooler. And you can say what you want, but I don't give a shit. Now, if you're employing me, absolutely, sir. We will make that change order right away. I will go into my small hole, cry for 10 minutes, and I will absolutely change this. But we are not there. Okay, so now we're going to combine these. Okay, so now this is um, a full joint piece. And we're going to combine these. And now this is a full joint piece. And now this also has a front and back. And this may be a little off, or it may just be the normal sawn off. Doesn't matter. Okay. So now I've got a full set of cool things. You know, we're going to bring this out. I'll rotate this back out. I don't know if that rotated correctly. Yeah. What? My rotation was a little skewed, but whatever. We want this to kind of match up. I mean, we want a big ball joint. Ew! All right, we're going to separate these. We're going to add those. Okay, so now I've got um, a bunch of different components made out for the arm. And they all more or less interlock. So I can add the pivot points kind of as we go through. And this little buddy, look at him. He's so cute. Hey, little ball. We'll use you eventually. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll add... Um, let me just kind of show you what I mean. So as you're going through and you're parenting pivots and shit later, this is not the appropriate way to pivot, but at least to give me an idea, this will be good here. Okay, so now, like, as we're rotating things, you know, we're, we're rotating anywhere. And this will obviously rotate with that, you know, but this too is rotating along this ball joint here. And then you'll have the hand that does the same. Okay, so let's stuff this in here. Resize some of these, just to add that same weight. So I want this to take up a good section of the inside of this arm. Because this will save me a lot of hiding. And we can even pull it out a little bit just to see that this is a, a joint. Not a smoking joint. Drugs are bad, kids. PSA from Steve. Also, let me just say, if there were strangers on every street corner, like I was led to believe, offering weed and alcohol, that most days I think I would say yes. Let's see here. Put this little buddy in the hole. <laughs> Ew. See what wow, it's not even close. Man. Embarrassing. 